So we've been talking probably for the past year that the sun was at or near solar maximum, but we just got the official word on that this week. The sun is at solar maximum. So tell us what that means. Like what is max? What is maxing out here? Yeah. What, so what's going so on? what is maxing out is what we call the solar cycle or the solar activity cycle, and the the basic way that we measure that is by looking at the number of sunspots. So we we count the number of sunspots, and over a period of roughly eleven years, we see the sun go from little or no sunspots to a lot of sunspots back down to little or no sunspots. And that's the solar cycle. The peak of that cycle is when we have the most sunspots, but that also corresponds to the peak of activity when we have the most solar storms, the most solar flares, CMEs, as well as the largest. And that period, which is not a single point, but actually you know, an extended period of time is what we call solar maximum. So the the events that we've been having this year, like the great auroral display in May, those are related to solar maximum. Yeah, absolutely. So we had some um, large solar flares, which had very large CMEs associated with them. And these CMEs are basically the sun burping out these big blobs of material, solar material and magnetic field that eventually can interact with the Earth's magnetic field, creating a huge electrical disturbance and what we call a geomagnetic storm. And that geomagnetic storm is what is driving uh, the aurora. Well, let's talk for a minute about what's going on to create this cycle because the poles of the sun flip. So have they flipped? Um. Yes, they have. Uh, and Ooh. that's an important <laughs> that's an important part of uh, solar maximum. Um, in oh, yeah. in fact, it's it it is part of our part of the sign that we get that solar maximum has occurred. So basically, now we can think of the sun like a big bar magnet. However, in reality, the sun is not a big solid bar magnet, but it's in fact, you know, it's not a solid. And the magnetic field is more like a fluid inside of it. So there are magnetic fields that are churning around. Uh, we see those in the form of sunspots. Some of them have uh, a positive polarity or a north polarity. Some have a south polarity. And when those magnetic fields of opposite polarity come together, they cancel each other out. And so that's basically what's happening is over the solar cycle, the magnetic field starts shifting and it starts combining and canceling each other out. And then eventually the, the basic structure, the overall magnetic field switches. And that takes 11 years, or that takes actually the length of the solar cycle. Um, so that actually means that we have two cycles. There's the 11 year solar cycle but there's the 22 year magnetic cycle because the magnetic field flips and then it flips again in another 11 years. So it goes back to the same place every 22 years. Um, oh, wow. And it's amazing that it's so regular because the magnetic poles on the earth are thought to flip as well, but not so regularly. Is that right? right? And over yeah, much, the, much, longer over months, much, much yeah. longer time periods, they're very chaotic. Um, you know, we talk about averages with the earth, but you know, the earth's magnetic field has flipped over hundreds of thousands of years, much longer. Um, and we can't, follow it. There is no obvious pattern, which is much different than the sun. And so this cycle, how does this cycle rack up so far with respect to the very strongest peaks that we've seen? It's easier to compare this cycle to the last cycle. So this cycle is um, so far has produced about double the number of M and X flares to the last cycle. And the last cycle, for some perspective, the last cycle was the smallest cycle in 100 years. So, wow. So we had very many much larger cycles, especially in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 
We had some big ones in the 90s. Um, and then they started to become smaller and smaller. And one of the things that's important is trying to figure out that pattern. What are the patterns? Um, you know, one of the things that I find fascinating is we've been studying sunspots in detail for only about 400 years, um, which sounds like a long time. But when we think in terms of the scale of the sun, the sun's been around for about four and a half billion years. So yeah, and we've only been studying them with spacecraft since, since the seventies. Yeah, since the, the past few yeah the past few decades. So a lot of times you'll hear people say this cycle is odd or this cycle is big or small. Right. But do we really know that? I mean, we haven't been <laughs> right. looking at the sun very no, long. Really you know. <laughs> yeah. So. So and so so is is this maximum going to go on for we don't know we don't know what to we expect, don't know do well we? we don't know exactly but we do have some idea so based on the experience that we had we do have you know we have an experience of twenty four other cycles so based on that we do expect that um, this we do think this cycle will have two peaks um, and the reason for that is that the northern and southern hemispheres peaked at different times. So yep. we saw the um, the Southern Hemisphere peaking earlier, the Northern Hemisphere peaking later. Um, that's going to probably, that's going to give us these two peaks. Also, because this is a relatively small cycle compared to the, the past hundred years, we expect that the period of activity will be about three to four years, the, what we call the maximum phase. And so we've only been in the maximum phase for approximately two years. So that means that we're going to have one to two more years of, of an active sun. And That's exciting. There's one other interesting bit of uh, trivia with that. The other thing is when the sun starts to go into its uh, minimum phase on the what we call the decline, we have looked in the past and many of the largest events that have happened in solar cycles happen on the decline, not during the maximum. Ooh. So it may right. mean we get some surprises after the maximum as we then head towards solar minimum. 